Happy VA Wednesday. So today we're gonna to be talking about VA jumbo loans. Okay, now if you watch the channel, you already know VA got rid of loan limits in 2020. So if you have your full VA entitlement, the sky's the limit. Now, VA itself does not have any restrictions in terms of how high the loan is. However, lenders do. So the most important part of this video is I am gonna be telling you that the lender you speak to about a VA jumbo loan, the guidelines are gonna vary dramatically. The pricing is gonna vary dramatically. So you do wanna make sure you're talking to a couple different lenders so that you don't go, oh, this lender said I had to have a 700. That's their guideline right? You want to make sure that you're looking at this because VA itself does not have a credit score guideline on 1 million, 2 million, 3 million. Lenders do. And I'm seeing a lot of differences amongst the industry in what lenders are comfortable with. Some will say, oh, you can only go to 1 million. That's not a rule. That's the lender's rule. Oh, you can only go to 2 million. Once again, not a VA rule. That's a lender rule. You have to have an XYZ credit lender rule. Okay, so I'm gonna to talk to you today about what my rules are. So if you're like, okay, what are some lender rules? I'm gonna tell you guys. Now, also I'm licensed in 48 states. I should have told you guys that earlier, but let's go. Okay, so up until 1.499, okay, right? Right up into that almost 1.5 million mark. Um, the minimum credit score for us, guaranteed rate is 580, okay? Now, in terms of debt to income, if you're between 580 and 600, we're gonna be looking at about a 45% debt to income. If your credit score is higher than that, we're gonna be going off of desktop findings. What that means is when we run it through automatic underwriting, if we get an approve, let's go, okay? Now, look, is a 55 or 60% debt to income good? No, it's not a great idea. However, you know, for instance, I think of tech employees. A lot of times they'll have a base, but a big portion of their income is in RSUs. Well, VA doesn't recognize RSUs as income. So if I'm at a 55 or 60% using that base income, but I know there's RSUs, that's less scary for you and less scary for me. So important to note that we see a lot of that, like self-employed buyers, maybe writing off more, um, you know, lots of variances. So be mindful of that. Now, 1.5 to 2 million, um, we're going to want a 660 plus credit score. Okay. And the max debt to income is 55%. So once you go 1.5 to 2 million, once again, we're going to want a 660 credit score and a max debt to income of 55. Now, up until recently, guaranteed rate didn't even offer over 2 million. It was an exception type deal where we'd have to go to like multiple managers. We now have guidelines for two to 3 million and it's a 720 plus credit score as well as 10% down, okay? Those are our guidelines right now. Um, do we sometimes take deals that are a little bit different than that to management? Absolutely, absolutely. I never want to say no to someone um, without running it by management just to make sure that I'm not missing an opportunity for a buyer. So that's important for you to know too because those numbers I just read, they're not VA guidelines, they're lender overlays. So really make sure when you're talking to lenders, if someone's saying you can't do something and you're in that jumbo realm, that you're checking with another lender. Now, the other thing to be mindful of is pricing. Oh my goodness, guys. The rates in this category, like the swing between investors can be huge. So everything ends up with Ginny Mae. That's what you need to know. Everything's gonna end up with Ginny Mae no matter what. Just like a, a regular VA loan, VA jumbo, same thing, Ginny Mae. However, some lenders are a little bit more afraid. So they've got these really high rates on, you know, the million, two million, and they're like, well, it's a jumbo VA, high risk. It's just as risky as any other VA loan. So you really wanna make sure that you're not paying extra because you are doing that higher loan amount. You'll see with uh, conventional loans that if you go into a category called conforming high balance, the rates go crazy. 
Not a real thing with VA. VA itself doesn't have pricing adjusters. Any pricing adjuster is something the lender's doing. So when I'm looking at rates, we do sell direct to Ginny at guaranteed rate, but I also have about eight other investors that sell direct to Ginny May that I'm looking at. And the reason I'm looking at them is I'm looking for who wants the business. That was passionate. <laughs> but sometimes someone really wants the business. So we're looking for opportunities. We're looking for holes in rate sheets. You know, and look, I do this with regular VA as well. Up until about a year ago, like we just had guaranteed rate direct and it was just, we crushed it every single time. Right now it's like, it's really, I'm seeing such swings in the market, it's nuts. So I'm always looking for those opportunities. You know, if you're working with me, everything is done in-house. I don't broker, it's my team. It's, you know, underwriters at guaranteed rate, it's our funding, our closing. So it's the same process. It's just, I'm looking at everyone that we have access to that sells to Ginny to see if there's an opportunity. So those are the things I wanted to cover. If you have questions, if you wanna talk more about this, please reach out, um, would love to help. Thanks for watching.